Welcome back to the channel everyone. We have the Keep of the Honed Edges, which is the fourth Ascendant Challenge out of a sixth Ascendant Challenge cycle. Now the location of this can be found in Harbinger Seclude. And of course guys, there are two corrupted eggs for you guys going after them. And there is going to be one set of Aham Car Bones, just like every other Ascendant Challenge. Now, you are going to need that Wish Ender bow in order to get those corrupted eggs, but this is the Shattered Throne week. It is going to be there all week. If you guys don't have the Wish Ender bow, I suggest you get in there, complete that Shattered Throne, and get that exotic. Now, just to mention, before you get this Ascendant Challenge started, make sure you stop at Petra, pick up the bounty for it, and you are going to need that Tincture of Queen's Foil in order to actually see the portal and get inside. Now just like the rest of my Ascendant Challenge videos, I am going to be showing you the two locations of those corrupted eggs and where you can find the Aham Kara Bones. Now with that being said, I want to take a second and I want to thank everybody for all the new subscribers. I finally hit my thousand mark. I really appreciate it guys. And I also want to say if this video helps you out, go ahead and give it a like. Feel free to share it so your friends can get this done. And newcomers to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this. Now there are going to be timestamps down below guys in the description if you just want to go for the eggs. Or maybe you're just missing that Aham Kara bone. So you can go ahead and fast forward to those if you need to. Or you could just follow the video into the portal location. Now once you get to this spot here guys, you're going to want to try to clear out the ads as best you can. Uh, the ads will continue to snipe you as you go up these steps. Because once you get to this part, you look to the right and there's some platforms that form. And as you're going up these, they can shoot through the bottom of them and they can kill you as you're climbing up these. Now there are different locations when you run through that portal, you can spawn in on a couple different spots. Now the first egg, if you see this giant crystal here, when you spawn in, that can be where the first egg can be found. Now if you don't spawn in on this spot guys, you can either run completely across or on the outside until you find that crystal platform, or you can simply just die, just wipe, and keep going in until you spawn in on this area. Now to get that egg, there's going to be a big rock on the right that you can jump to and then you got to kind of take a leap of faith off to the right side and you go back towards the crystal a little bit and some platforms will form as you jump and you just got to keep jumping out there guys and the platforms will keep spawning as you're jumping. Now you're going to have to jump onto four different platforms and once you get on that fourth one, it's a little bit longer, you can run to the edge, look to the left and the egg will be sitting there on a cliff. Now as a reminder, in order to shoot this egg and break it, you do need the Wish Ender Bow. If you don't have the Wish Ender Bow, the egg is just going to tell you that it's immune. Now once getting that egg, you can continue through and go to the actual middle area where you're going to face three Ascendant Knights. Now this is probably my favorite Ascendant Challenge. Once you get to that middle area, there are going to be three Knights nailed around a sword. Now you can't damage these until you actually kill all of these smaller ads. Once you do, you'll be able to pick up the sword and one of those knights will start moving. Now you need to use the sword in order to kill that knight. And once the first knight is dead, the remaining two knights will start to move and you'll have to use the sword again to kill them. Now if you are doing this solo and as you're damaging the knight and you're having trouble getting too much damage from all the smaller ads that spawn, if you run around the outside and kind of hide behind some of the pillars, the smaller ads won't damage you as much and the knights will run right to you and you could just sword them and not have to worry about the smaller ads.
Now this is what I'm talking about guys, I'm beginning to take too much damage so I run to this outside and kind of use these pillars here to block all their shots. Now the knights did run right to me and I was able to take them out. Now once all the knights are dead, all these smaller ants will despawn. You can run to the middle to that little orb and it will show you the direction you need to go to get out. Now if you don't see a chest here, don't worry, it doesn't spawn yet until you get to the end where the portal location is. Now for the second egg, you want to look for these steps, it's the broken steps so leading to the left. And you look off to the right, you're going to see a gazebo out there that you can jump to. Now once getting to the gazebo, you want to look kind of to the left and way out in the darkness. And you're going to be able to jump up as high as you can and just sword glide the whole way over to this mountain. Now it might be a little hard to see, but you should be able to see that mountain whenever the light flashes in the map. Now once you get to the mountain, you're going to want to climb up as high as you can. Now once getting to the top of the mountain guys, you're going to jump over the edge and then your egg will be sitting right there. Then after getting the egg guys, you can jump back to the top of the mountain and you should be able to sword glide back to that gazebo and from there back to the center of the map and we can go after the Ahamkara bones. Now if you're having a hard time getting over to the mountain with just the sword, make sure you put your boots on and increase your jump and make sure you have your highest jump on to begin with. Then for the warlock, you can spam your void super in order to get over there. Uh, I know the hunter is probably the easiest with his triple jump and a titan should be pretty easy too with the titan skating. Now for the um, car bones, you want to find those broken steps that lean off to the left again. Then if you go to the left of them, to this little gazebo platform, and then if you look down to the right, you should see the um, car bones sitting right down there. And you can jump down there guys, and as you jump down, there should be platforms that start to form as you're going down. Now if you have the sword still equipped, you can't look down as much as you can with your regular weapon, so I just dropped the sword in order to get these. Now the sword will stay wherever you drop it, in order to get the chest to spawn at the end, you do need to carry the sword with you to the actual portal location, and then once you get there, your chest will spawn. Now if you don't have your sword, you will not get the chest, so make sure you still have that with you. Now after getting the um, car bones, there's going to be platforms that spawn off to the right and just kind of take you in a circle around, leading you back up to the top. Now this little ledge right here I'm jumping to, uh, Tolan will spawn here, but I already got him this week, so he's not in this location, but the first time you come in this during the week, this is where Tolan will spawn. Now before jumping across to the end portal to get out, there are going to be ants that are spawn there and you're going to want to take them out before you start jumping because once you start the platforms that you're landing on will disappear and you don't want to have to worry about taking the ants out as you're jumping across them. And there are some taken phalanxes that can bump you off. If you're running at them with a sword, if they bump you, you can just sword right through it and get back onto the platform. There you go, you complete the Ascent Challenge, you grab your chest, get your powerful rewards. And as always guys, this video helped it out, make sure you give it a like. 
feel free to share it go ahead and comment down below and newcomers to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button for some more d2 content like this